Okay, now I I hope that you hear me good and well. Uh, do you hear me? Yes, yes, yes sure. Yes. Great, perfect. So I may I can start now. So I would like to start with a short introduction to the Sun project. Uh, uh, my name is Emil Gatiel. I'm from Instituto Informatics Slovak Academy of Sciences uh, and uh, Sciences and. Uh, I'm a part of the Sun project, uh, which uh, is the uh, social network of machines. Uh, the goal of the project is to optimize uh, the production for uh, uh, and industrial processes. Uh, and special regard is given to reduce uh, the impact of um, uh, machine failures. Uh, we try to design an uh, evaluation frame, uh, benchmark and framework from uh, simulated and uh, real production data. Uh, so far, we used uh, uh, I uh, used uh, multi-agent system as a as a concept of a project, and uh, uh, we use some social uh, techniques uh, to communicate with. Uh, um, uh, uh, to communicate to machines uh, and operators, uh, which are seen as, as an agent. Uh, we use uh, big data technology uh, from cloud and uh, edge and fog, and uh, using, using ma machine learning to uh, model predictive maintenance um, uh, to, uh, and to uh, and yeah, um, we are four universities uh, and research organizations involved in the project. Uh, uh, well, the project coordinator, coordinator is University of Applied Scientist, uh, Sciences and Arts in Western Switzerland, Neuchâtel. Uh, Institute of Informatics, uh, Slovak Academy, Academy of Sciences and, in Slovakia and University of Oviedo in Spain and the University of Medicine, Pharmacy, Science, and Technology of Targum Rish, Romania. Uh, these organizations collaborate in uh, uh, three industrial cases. Uh, the first uh, case is tooling machine, uh, which deals with pressure, precision mechanics. Uh, it's a, a use case of uh, turnos, uh, in Switzerland. Then uh, the second use case is recycling uh, company located in Slovak uh, in Slovakia. The, uh, the, the Emil, sorry to interrupt. Just uh, are you sharing your screen? I'm not sharing my screen or something. no, we are not. Uh... Yeah, you really, really sorry for that. I was. Try to, try to share again. Okay, okay, okay. Now, can you see the, my screen? Now, yes. Ah, great, perfect. Thank you for that you interrupt me because I was in that that day I share my screen. So sorry for that. And uh, yeah, the the second use case is uh, from um, pl plastic uh, recycling industry. The company is called Mato Bali, and uh, the last uh, use case is from steel, uh, uh, wire rod, and the hot uh, strip mills. And steel making company, uh, Acero Acelor Metal in Spain. Uh, so uh, our challenge is, is to design the multi-agent system uh, to uh, allow collaboration with, uh, between machines and uh, human operators. Uh, we try to model predictive and uh, smart maintenance scenarios uh, to early detect early uh, early, uh, early early failure failure of machines, uh, which is probably the most uh, crucial problem in in the in the production, and try to mitigate these failures uh, using some uh, using knowledge base uh, for uh, detect for storing the cases of, of the failures. 
for example, we model some uh, failure of electrical engine. We just store that model and use it again uh, for the similar case. And the challenge is to uh, um, adopt these uh, approaches to the practice. Uh, our impacts is uh, to redu reduce the unplanned, unplanned downtime, production downtime, and uh, guiding the human operators uh, to deal with, uh, with uh, machine, uh, machine failures. Uh, we try to, using the autonomous agents, we try to, oops, sorry. We try to automatize uh, these production lines uh, in, in the sense that, uh, for example, we try to pl plan or reschedule the uh, production plans according to the main maintenance scenarios. Uh, machine, we use, we, we use machines to communicate uh, uh, using the uh, uh, we allow machines to communicate be between uh, each other using the agents, software entities, which is attached to the machine and it acts in behalf of the machine. Uh, each, each agent is capable of sensing and actuating the, the, its, uh, its state. In uh, the pl plastic uh, recycling uh, scenario, the agents represent uh, mostly the electrical engines, which uh, we measure the uh, their parameters and try to uh, try to estimate the failures. Another uh, part of soft or entity is a collector the collector node, which the uh, which uh, collects and distributes uh, data between agents. It also allows the online auctions. We use uh, these auctions as a uh, part of the optimization process. I will be talking uh, on the next slide. Uh, this collector is connected to the scheduler, which uh, has a global overview of the um, production plan. And the scheduler just uh, summarizes all these uh, particular small plans of each agent and uh, tr is uh, and is in, in line with uh, some ERP system, so all the uh, and ensures that uh, the ERP system is uh, is in line or is is uh, um, reflects the same state with with the agents. And uh, last uh, important software software component is the poll management aggregation service which propagates and collects the polling messages uh, from uh, the machine agents. It is used uh, uh, for communication with the agents and uh, uses uh, the ontology description uh, to map uh, the, the software entities to the uh, real world of the, of the factory. Uh, and moreover, it provides uh, the machine to human communication interface. So for example, if the agent wants to actuate with uh, some state of, of, of some electrical engine, it uh, cannot be done directly by the agent, uh, but it can just ask uh, a human operator using this uh, poll management aggregation service to, uh, for example, check the status of the agent. So it's, uh, it serves as a machine to human uh, communication. Uh, on the machine agent domain, uh, we, we um, connect machine agents using PLCs or ESP devices uh, to interact with the machine. Uh, the mesh, the uh, this machine agent uh, co contains uh, local data storage, which captures uh, machine data for uh, for uh, predictive maintenance scenarios or to detect uh, to detect a machine failure, and uh, also it is it is used uh, as a short term memory for for the machine uh, for the agent. Uh, Machine agent is capable to run prediction models uh, 
in, mainly internally, but if uh, it doesn't have any uh, sufficient computational power, it can be done externally to ask, for, for example, other, other agent or uh, pass this model to the FOG domain or cloud domain. These pr prediction models uh, are not strictly defined if it, it's uh, artificial uh, neural network or other uh, data mining model, but it requires, it requires that uh, these models must detect and predict machine failure uh, with some probability in a, such, uh, in a certain uh, time period. Uh, and uh, we create these maintenance plans according to, uh, to um, running the prediction models. For example, if some agent, agent detect that uh, the en electrical engine will fail uh, in uh, five hours with 50% uh, probability, it just uh, try to uh, try to move or uh, the shift to the production batch to another and another machine capable a machine so the uh, the machine with the same type uh, with the same type it's done using the uh, PM pmas uh, to run an auction so the pmas are uh, uh propagates the auction uh, uh among to the uh, capable uh, another agents and uh, these agents recalculate their internal schedule and try to evaluate the cost uh, of uh, the shift uh of this batch and if there is there is no such a uh, agent willing to take uh, this production batch so this auction is running over until the uh, until uh, one agent or several agents uh, are uh, willing or is are capable to uh, take this product production batch with uh, some uh, minimal cost. Here uh, we using uh, in these auctions uh, we passing all the parameters of uh, actual. Uh, uh, production batch, for example, type of the product and uh, uh, deadline, actual cost of the of the of the of the agent. Uh, so in this way, we are trying to minimize the uh, minimize the cost of the of the, of the rescheduling all all the all this process. Uh, as agent execution environment, we, uh, we are using mostly on the far edge environment, uh, which is a single ball computers like uh, Raspberry Pi's or Droid, but it can be run on ESP devices too. Uh, but it's it's not really necessary to run it on on the really near near to the near to the uh, real production environment. It can be run on the fog and the cloud too on PCs or virtualized uh, uh, resources. But there, there are some problems to connect uh, with connecting uh, with the uh, with the sensors uh, and, and the machines. Uh, soon, age, uh, our agent maintains the its internal schedule, uh, and if there there is a, uh, some change of of of, of the risk of the schedule, it recalculates the cost of, of the production batch. So in, in each time, it must be able to calculate the cost of the production batch. batch. It uses MQTT uh, client protocol to communicate uh, with other uh, agents or the collector node, uh, uh, which uh, which then uh, uh, it is called co collector node is responsible for for the communication uh, using the auctions and uh, as i said that uh, we use uh, plc's or esp devices to sense or actuate machine properties of, of the of the of uh, some machine uh, this uh, our agent must be able to run uh, and, and train machine failure prediction model for that reason, it it can be uh, done internally, or it can just ask some uh, um, some uh, service 
running into the, in the cloud to train, for example, the machine pr uh, failure prediction model and return the results. We use some social interaction uh, 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 during the run of the agent, for example, uh, if the um, uh, agent is not capable or doesn't have the prediction model, it asks other uh, uh, agents uh, if this model is not uh, is is in their uh, uh, in their uh, their inventory, and we there can uh, use their models to calculate the, for example, mesh, uh, machine failure predictions for the, for the, that machine, for that uh, agent. Mm. Uh, and last is the capture and filter aggregator or sensor data, for which we probably, if uh, the machine, for example, works correctly, it doesn't have a sense to just propagate the raw data to the, to the, main main uh, storage so i will just uh, say some words about the problems in uh, mat obali plastic rec recycling use case it contains a lot of electric engines in dirty environment and uh, uh, in this company uh, there is a need for uh, for a specific maintenance concept rather rather than uh, using some uh, statically plan, planned maintenance. So, uh, um, moreover, there are a lot of engines which uh, which failure is not deterministic. So, even we just may expect that the, that the engine will fail, but it may, maybe doesn't fail for uh, one or two years. But uh, we need to train uh, train, for example, prediction model now or in in several months. So. Therefore, we are using some simulation for uh, of these electrical engines to simulate the failures. And I will just pass the floor to my colleague Adrian to just explain some more details about it. Okay, uh, thank you. So to be uh, more smooth with the presentation, I will share my screen. Uh, just uh, uh, please give me the control. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, I will try to. Okay, the entire screen will be more easier. Okay, can you see me? Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, so uh, in this part, I will, I, I will try to present you uh, a current task uh, that is uh, related to this uh, uh, to this part of uh, electric motor failure. Uh, uh, research and uh, data set production. Uh, so basically, which is the, uh, let's say, uh, the main goal of, of, uh, of this work. So uh, in order to have a good algorithm uh, developed, uh, we know that uh, more or less uh, uh, any algorithm, it's uh, very data dependent. And uh, uh, of course, there are a lot of uh, data sources we can use, but the question is, uh, 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 how close are these data to the type of uh, real data that we we, uh, we meet in the in the real life? Uh, for instance, in uh, in uh, our uh, uh, industrial uh, scenarios. So, uh, for these uh, reasons, uh, our uh, idea was to uh, produce uh, some uh, some uh, uh, data. Uh, that can be used in the process of uh, uh, classification, learning, and uh, uh, validation and uh, uh, testing purposes. Uh, so, uh, for this, this for this reason, uh, this presentation we have, uh, let's say, two uh, two uh, part. Uh, one is uh, related to uh, how we propose to uh, to collect the data, and uh, uh, the second part it's uh, related to uh, a preliminary research uh, related to this data. So how uh, this data was used and uh, a few results uh, that uh, encourage us to uh, continue this, uh, this part. Uh, now, uh, why uh, we need uh, uh, this data acquisition? Uh, basically, uh, we, we met some challenges. Uh, first of all, was the availability of uh, real data. Uh, let's say some uh, 
uh, uh, events that occurred. We know that pandemic situation just uh, uh, put us a little bit in uh, working in the online environment and the contact with the real industry uh, was a little bit uh, not so strong. Uh, and another, uh, let's say, important issue that uh, uh, it's possible that uh, in many projects uh, 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 can be met uh, is related to uh, confi confidentiality issues, security, and so on. And uh, this is why uh, uh, maybe the data that uh, we as a scientist uh, uh, want to use, we cannot uh, have access to, to them. So this is why uh, uh, we think that uh, uh, if we are able to produce such data will be very helpful for uh, our uh, our project. Uh, now, also uh, uh, in uh, in our task, we faced uh, uh, let's say some uh, uh, very interesting challenges. Uh, first, uh, let's say is about uh, the complexity of the data, uh, the technology, especially when we have uh, many sensors uh, and uh, also. Uh, 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 some problem could, could arise uh, from the quantity of the data. And uh, uh, let's say the most important uh, is uh, the quality of data. Uh, this quality maybe uh, are uh, dependent on uh, many, uh, let's say, uh, hardware setups. So uh, depend on the sensors, uh, uh, depend on condition of uh, experimenting. Uh, and uh, all this stuff goes in the, let's say, in the class of the real-time constraints. Uh, but uh, about these uh, facts, I will uh, discuss later. Uh, now, uh, our main goal was uh, uh, to uh, search for uh, the most representative data that can, uh, that can be used uh, for developing algorithm. And why not, if uh, these data are good, uh, we plan to uh, uh, develop uh, an open data set that can be used by other scientists. And uh, if uh, they obtain uh, uh, some results, uh, just to compare with uh, ours. Uh, now, uh, about uh, our configuration. So uh, basically, uh, as I previously mentioned, uh, as uh, uh, the access uh, to the real industrial data uh, is, uh, let's say, uh, uh, a real barrier, uh, we consider that uh, a good idea is uh, to build uh, a model, uh, a model ca uh, that can um, uh, mimic uh, real industrial processes and produce data uh, uh, as much as possible uh, uh, to be like that in uh, in real life. Uh, now, uh, initially, we started uh, to uh, to work on this uh, on this uh, topic uh, from uh, simulating, for instance, uh, just uh, built up some model in MATLAB and uh, just generated uh, the data. But uh, you know that uh, when uh, uh, data is used in such type of models. Uh, uh, everybody will have the feeling that it's uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, they they model somehow what happens in, in reality, but uh, you cannot capture, uh, let's say, uh, that aspects uh, related to uh, 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 facts that we we met in uh, in uh, real conditions, uh, like uh, uh, type of noises, like uh, uh, nonlinearities, and so on, and. Uh, uh, firstly, uh, to have, uh, let's say, uh, 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 cover the part with uh, real-time data. Uh, uh, we just uh, very simple uh, used uh, Python and generated, but uh, uh, the data was too clear uh, and too clean uh, uh, to be as uh, uh, similar like in reality. So this is why uh, our goal was to obtain uh, a model uh, 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 much closer to, to the reality. So this is uh, why we considered that uh, a good opportunity uh, to achieve this goal is to uh, build our uh, physical model. And uh, uh, we'll see how, how we think about it. Um, now also, 
uh, this model uh, was very important for us and uh, also will be in the future because uh, as uh, our system uh, want to integrate uh, uh, when we deployed many technologies like uh, edge computing, uh, fog and uh, cloud computing, uh, we have uh, to, to know exactly uh, the performance and the limit of, uh, of such a system and uh, to know exactly on which type of data can we rely. So uh, uh, this part of uh, tests was performed uh, previously. Uh, so I didn't, uh, uh, I do not plan to uh, talk about uh, in this part. Uh, so uh, a real uh, uh, short about uh, how, uh, uh, how we planned, uh, how we plan our, uh, our model, uh, basically, uh, we wanted to uh, obtain data uh, uh, as, uh, let's say, uh, uh, considering the complexity that we uh, found in reality. So this is why we modeled uh, a few uh, functioning regimes. Uh, for instance, considering uh, 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 electric drives uh, that are working in different uh, load cases, uh, uh, this for obtaining data for uh, normal operations. And then uh, uh, this uh, uh, test bed used in the condition uh, when fault occurs. Uh, on this, uh, let's say, uh, uh, topic, uh, uh, our approach uh, was to follow two lines. First of all, uh, to study uh, uh, what kind of data we obtain in case of electrical fault. And uh, uh, the other uh, side was to uh, uh, follow uh, some mechanical, uh, some mechanical uh, uh, fault. Uh, now, uh, uh, we are limited here, uh, you know, because uh, uh, theoretically can be uh, simulated many cases, but uh, you know, uh, in lab, it's about the safety. It's about uh, also to have uh, the equipment uh, in a condition not to destroy them. Uh, but uh, uh, what we obtained until now, uh, we we saw that uh, it's feasible, uh, and uh, we can uh, finally generate that data with, uh, that we want. Uh, now, another uh, 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 point that has to be mentioned is that uh, uh, basically. Uh, uh, we focus on uh, uh, on uh, on the engine, on electric engine, uh, but also uh, uh, his uh, uh, its uh, functioning is not only uh, to internal or uh, let's say uh, uh, that come from electrical or mechanical failure, uh, but also we are uh, uh, concentrating on uh, what happens in if. Uh, uh, for conditions is uh, generated uh, not internally but externally, but uh, by let's say uh, uh, the uh, the power source, for instance. So uh, also we had in mind uh, to uh, acquire data, considering also uh, how the environment uh, influence uh, uh, the data acquisition, because uh, we know that. Uh, 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 for instance, uh, in case of our scenarios, uh, uh, the industrial conditions are very harsh. And uh, this is why uh, we cannot concentrate only on the, let's say, uh, uh, only, the, only on the engine, uh, let's say, parameters. And we have to go uh, further. Uh, basically, uh, I uh, prepared a small sketch about uh, this uh, physical model. Uh, 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 you will see later a bit of it. It's very important uh, to see uh, these details. So, uh, uh, if we consider the electric motors uh, uh, here from the side of uh, how it's uh, used, uh, uh, one is uh, in, in case with in conjunction with a power converter, such that to have. Uh, 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 situation that an electric motor is using automated uh, system. And the second one, when it's uh, powered directly from the, let's say, power grid, and uh, we want to test what happens when uh, 
uh, uh, something, uh, some problems occurs when the, the uh, uh, when there are some power faults. So also to have data on, on this uh, side. So this is why we can provide to uh, uh, our testing asynchronous machine also uh, 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 linear voltage power supply and also uh, uh, more common, uh, 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 let's say uh, supply uh, that it's uh, found in industry uh, 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 with the mean of uh, power converters. And uh, uh, also because, uh, you know, uh, in the uh, uh, real case, uh, there are many situations on how this engine are used. Uh, 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 our scenario includes another uh, 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 electric engine that is used as a load, which is a control uh, control load uh, that can be precisely uh, monitored and uh, can be maintained constantly or can be uh, uh, changed the scenario how this load uh, uh, varies such, such that uh, to have uh, many scenario uh, in this case. So uh, 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 how we started uh, to build our uh, uh, our uh, uh, setup. Uh, uh, we used initially uh, for testing purpose two electrical machine, two synchronous machine, uh, relatively, uh, let's say, uh, at the same power. Uh, one is uh, 1.1 kilowatts, and the second one is 1.5. Uh, uh, they are coming from uh, two different uh, producers, and uh, they are used in different contexts. Uh, uh, and uh, on these two machines, we test different scenarios. Uh, I just try to uh, mention a few of them because uh, this will be used later uh, when the data are processed in the classification process. So um, we considered the function in, in normal, in normal uh, situation when, um, but uh, here we have to uh, know that this normal means uh, 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 without fault uh, and uh, in different regimes. Uh, these uh, regimes means uh, at different uh, RPMs uh, and also at different, uh, at different loads. Uh, and uh, the second class of, uh, of simulations that were carried out using uh, 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 specific uh, uh, scenarios like uh, mechanical uh, simulated failure and electrical one. Uh, basic mechanical failure, we uh, followed on two directions. Uh, uh, you will see that uh, further this was named unbalanced and the normal uh, operation was named balanced. Uh, and uh, and in this uh, unbalanced uh, situation, uh, as I already mentioned, uh, we use do, uh, two, uh, uh, two scenarios. Uh, one, when we used a small mass uh, uh, at the shaft of the electric engine such that to, such that to simulate uh, 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 mechanical imbalance. And the second one uh, was to perform a, a misalignment between uh, the tested uh, asynchronous machine and the uh, electrical machine that uh, simulate the load. So we uh, here we have uh, to clear uh, distinct uh, situations. And uh, on the electrical uh, uh, side, electrical fault, uh, I mean, uh, here we uh, tested the situation when uh, there, there is a connection problem at the uh, power supply side. So uh, uh, we used uh, uh, supplemental uh, resistors such that to mimics that uh, the, uh, there's a contact problem. Uh, this is uh, the only, let's say, uh, uh, electrical force simulated. Uh, you will see that uh, in the future we want to extend it and to obtain uh, further data. Now, uh, here we have a picture of uh, all the setup. Uh, basically, uh, it is important uh, because uh, I will refer uh, next to uh, to these uh, processes and. Uh, 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 I just included here to have uh, exactly uh, an idea about uh, what I mean. So um, uh, in the next presentation, uh, I will mention uh, uh, 
uh, the machine that we tested, for instance, uh, uh, this is the first uh, electric engine that uh, generic, uh, we call it, uh, uh, we call it uh, uh, orange machine. And the second one, it's uh, uh, this from the uh, right uh, low, uh, lower uh, side, which, uh, we, which uh, we called gray machine. Uh, so you see that uh, here, uh, this is the part where uh, were uh, attached small uh, the small mass such that to simulate uh, 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 that uh, unbalancing situation and here we see the two uh, uh, coupled uh, engine uh, this is one uh, the black uh, that is uh, that is considered as uh, uh, as the load and the, which is controlled uh, uh, by a dedicated device uh, computer monitored and uh, uh, the orange one, it's uh, the tested uh, uh, machine that it's uh, controlled through a linear uh, power voltage in one scenario and another one by a power converter. Uh, now, because uh, 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 first we wanted to uh, build a physical model with uh, uh, many sensors such that to uh, go closer to uh, what we call the big data, uh, we wanted to integrate uh, many many sensors and uh, for this purpose we think that a good approach uh, is to have uh, uh, let's say uh, many data acquisition systems so uh, uh, the solution was to uh, use some uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, small cost uh, uh, system or chips uh, uh, solutions uh, and for processing also uh, uh, to uh, connect this to some uh, single board computers like uh, uh, Raspberry Pi. You will see that uh, this is, daily is, is very important. Uh, and why? Because uh, uh, initially uh, we wanted uh, to test, uh, 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 to put many sensors on one uh, system or chip solution, uh, but uh, we face some problem and we have to distribute. Uh, distributing, we get uh, another problem. So, so uh, 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 from uh, let's say uh, description part, uh, it sounds simple, but uh, when uh, 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 the experiment is performed, we see that uh, uh, we have to pay attention to many uh, many aspects. Uh, now, some challenges about uh, uh, our implementation. Uh, basically, uh, we wanted to have data uh, that uh, uh, can be used in. Uh, in uh, in uh, developed algorithm, so uh, we saw that uh, uh, we have a, a very uh, varied varied uh, data, uh, very heterogeneous one because uh, you know uh, 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 one data uh, are obtained when you measure, for instance, the consumptions. Let's say uh, just to take a look at the currents, uh, uh, the voltages, also if we consider uh, vibrations. So. Uh, 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 here, I think it's a good point because uh, we have uh, opportunity to produce uh, many type of data such that uh, to search for algorithm, algorithm that uh, can be generalized and used uh, for uh, uh, as many as possible uh, data sets. Uh, now, uh, for direct uh, experimenting, uh, let's say uh, uh, we wanted to uh, Get data as good as possible, and uh, we fixed uh, uh, and we try to obtain uh, this through uh, right sampling uh, uh, sampling time. Uh, uh, as let's say, theory, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, saying to us. Uh, but uh, we see that uh, in practice, uh, some hardware uh, uh, issue. Uh, stop uh, us uh, on, on this direction and also let's say uh, communication issues uh, and uh, for this uh, from uh, let's say constant sampling rate we get a little bit to uh, 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 variable time to uh, uh, sampling time so uh, uh, here it's very interesting to have uh, uh, this data now we are running uh, uh, experiments at constant but uh, in the future we want to let uh, uh, this data uh, uh, flow exactly 
the second manner that I, that I mentioned. Uh, now, if you remember, I, I told you about uh, 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 obtaining data from many sensors. Uh, so in order to uh, have good accuracy, uh, we have to move uh, because of the hardware uh, uh, performance, uh, let's say, uh, each sensor on each uh, 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 microprocessor that it used for uh, uh, for data acquisition, and uh, but the problem is, you know, if you use uh, small costs uh, uh, solution, uh, then uh, uh, somehow you have to uh, synchronize. So here uh, it's it, it's important uh, data uh, somehow to be correlated, especially when uh, let's say for uh, 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 a fault. Uh, uh, concur more than one uh, 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 signals. So uh, this will be uh, interesting research in the future. And uh, also uh, uh, here it's important to uh, to mention that uh, uh, initially we imagined that uh, we can perform uh, our experiment in uh, large conditions, but uh, uh, the process, so in our case, uh, the tested machines, uh, here the orange uh, and the gray uh, uh, engine, uh, cannot be uh, pushed in any limits because uh, uh, a power converter uh, cannot operate in any condition. So uh, we faced uh, exactly when we wanted to uh, go in a specific scenario that uh, the power converter just entered in the protection and uh, uh, the experiment cannot be done. Uh, so as I already uh, uh, mentioned, we uh, uh, at uh, this moment uh, 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 related to data produced, uh, we considered uh, uh, two classes of scenarios. One, it's uh, containing data from uh, normal operation, and this normal operation it's uh, uh, considered as a parameter. Uh, uh, the RPM of the engine constant, and also uh, the load uh, constant. And the second uh, scenario, uh, from the same exact parameters, uh, we consider the fault condition. And uh, these conditions, uh, as I uh, already mentioned, uh, are referred to uh, electrical and also to, uh, let's say, uh, uh, mechanical condition. The, the uh, the two ones. Uh, one is uh, for uh, 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 unbalancing mass, and the second uh, type from uh, alignment, uh, 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 let's say, disorder. Uh, now, as a, as a data that we measured, uh, we started initially with uh, uh, to, uh, to monitor the dry consumption. Uh, so uh, we saw that uh, we can obtain uh, uh, current. Uh, uh, currents, uh, voltage, and so on. Uh, also, uh, because uh, in uh, a good sign of uh, of a faulty uh, condition is uh, coming from the uh, the behavior of the electric engine uh, through the uh, uh, the vibrations, uh, we think that uh, a good approach is uh, to go on this uh, side and. Uh, 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 algorithm developed to be uh, to be uh, let's say uh, research in this direction. Uh, why? Because uh, the three industrial partner uh, on this part has something in common, and uh, we focused uh, on this uh, uh, on this chapter. Uh, now, initially, we started uh, with uh, 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 sound monitoring, uh, and uh, we just. Uh, uh, analyze the data obtained, and uh, the results were very promising. Uh, we obtained uh, after the classification, let's say, a good, uh, a good separation of data. Um, but uh, we think that uh, uh, in real condition, if uh, we use this approach, uh, could be uh, in some con in some cases inappropriate because uh, you know in the lab it's uh, hard to reproduce. Uh, uh, let's say uh, the noise that is uh, common in, uh, in industrial. So we think that it's a good idea uh, to switch to some specialized 
uh, uh, sensors that can uh, uh, can be used uh, in this case. So uh, we just uh, 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 use some sensors uh, and uh, uh, data that uh, we represented uh, 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 as follows are related to this type. Uh, now I, here I have to mention uh, if uh, somebody want to reproduce uh, uh, this experiment and or to obtain the uh, data in this sense, pay attention to the sensor that you choose. For instance, we uh, wanted to have good data and uh, uh, because of this we choose, the, uh, let's say you see 16-bit uh, uh, reading per axis, which is very good. Uh, but we didn't pay attention uh, to the other uh, aspect. Uh, for instance, our sensor cannot be used uh, to very strong uh, uh, shocks, uh, vibration that are coming from shocks. So uh, uh, here in this part, we are a little bit uh, limited, but in, uh, let's say, normal condition, uh, uh, we tested and uh, what we have now, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's going... Uh, it's going uh, well. So basically, uh, for instance, uh, uh, what we presented uh, 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 in this presentation, we'll see that uh, we used uh, uh, some data that are organized uh, very simple. So we just recorded a timestamp uh, to have exactly uh, uh, a correlation uh, between uh, data acquired and uh, the moment in time, such that to see if uh, the time test, the time uh, uh, sampling is uh, constant or not. And uh, for instance, as you see in this presentation, we have the uh, uh, accelerations uh, on on the three on the three axes. Uh, now the part that it's uh, now in, in the presentation uh, was built collectively uh, with uh, our partner from Oviedo University and uh, from uh, University from. Uh, 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 Switzerland from HESO. So uh, they uh, 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 gathered the data provided by us and uh, they performed uh, the next two part. Uh, one uh, is related to the clustering. And uh, of course, this was uh, uh, for visualization purposes to see if uh, the data obtained is okay. And the second part was uh, uh, tested with uh, regular uh, techniques such that uh, to see if uh, they are good of, or not. So basically, as you remember, uh, uh, the two type of engines that we uh, uh, used in our experiments, uh, so one is called uh, the orange and the second one is uh, gray. And uh, uh, always remember uh, that uh, in the presentation what it's called balanced, this means that uh, uh, no mechanical uh, fault is uh, Im implied and when you see uh, so unbalanced it's when it's okay and uh, a bal uh, uh, balance it's okay and um, and unbalanced it's when we have a uh, uh, mechanical fault one or one of the two classes if you remember uh, so one it's uh, uh, an additive mass and the second one ad uh, it's related to misalignment of uh, uh, of uh, a motor and uh, its load now uh, as you see in this picture you see that uh, uh, just using a simple analysis of uh, the provided data in the case of uh, uh, comparing when you have uh, uh, normal functioning and uh, with mechanical fault. So this means an additive mass. Uh, after, uh, let's say, a sort of uh, FFT analysis and normalization, uh, uh, a plotting uh, TSNE uh, projection show a good separation of the uh, of the two data. So uh, this uh, give uh, us uh, uh, an idea that uh, uh, data are from quality point of view are are good. Now, if we consider the orange uh, tested uh, engine uh, in the same uh, in the same uh, scenario, balanced uh, versus unbalanced. Uh, also, we see that uh, uh, we can obtain a little bit another arrangement of the uh, separation, but also uh, looks clear. So uh, 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 if we considered uh, the, uh, let's say, two different scenarios, this was with editing mass, additive mass, and uh, this uh, related to uh, 
um, when uh, with, with a misalignment between uh, engines, also we, we have this uh, good and clear separation. Now, uh, related to uh, classification, uh, so basically uh, we considered uh, a simple approach of a rolling window starting uh, with uh, 200 to 5,000 5, data points. And uh, we considered, let's say, uh, some com uh, common statistical features. And uh, uh, let's say for the gray uh, uh, machine, so the experiment with the gray machine, uh, with a simple uh, with a simple neural network implementation, uh, we saw that uh, uh, we have uh, uh, unexpected very good uh, results. Uh, now uh, the problem is uh, okay. What's happen if we consider a little bit uh, uh, harder problem? So just uh, uh, from the data sets, uh, move out uh, one set. For instance, uh, uh, a test was performed considering. Uh, for a specific uh, RPM, uh, uh, data was not considered in the learning uh, learning stage. Uh, results was also good, so uh, no major uh, no major changes was obtained. So this means that uh, uh, the classification was uh, uh, good. So such an approach, uh, considering this type of experiment, is okay. Uh, now. If we consider uh, uh, another scenario where uh, we use all uh, the data, uh, uh, normal operation for different, con con for different conditions and also uh, uh, mechanical and electrical, uh, uh, electrical fault, uh, basically results uh, eight classes, as you see uh, picture here, and also for uh, uh, this approach, if uh, support vector machine was used, uh, a test accuracy of 95% uh, 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 was, uh, was clearly reported. Uh, okay, uh, now uh, the question was, uh, 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 the classification works well when uh, all the data are known. Now, what happens if uh, we try to uh, make the classification more difficult uh, for instance, uh, 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 let's say if uh, the data that corresponds to uh, the 90% of the maximum speed uh, of the engine uh, are uh, taken out. Uh, now the question is uh, uh, how the train and how the validation works. So uh, when uh, neural networks were considered, uh, we saw that uh, uh, from the train accuracy, it's uh, obtained a good uh, 99, 99% uh, 99, uh, and uh, uh, also a good accuracy. Uh, uh, you see that uh, the final test was uh, uh, 65%. Uh, uh, so basically here, uh, zero, one, two, three are, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, named each classes. Uh, now, uh, what happens if uh, we consider uh, uh, the scenario uh, with uh, uh, two classes, balanced and balanced only uh, we, from the data set? So you can see here uh, named as zero and one. Uh, and uh, 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 as I told you, just uh, uh, removing uh, uh, some sets. Uh, we saw that uh, we have a train accuracy of uh, 99% and the final test accuracy of uh, zero of uh, uh, 80, uh, 83%. Uh, percent. Uh, now, uh, also these tests were performed for uh, 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 data sets that are related to uh, electric, uh, uh, electric and non-electric. Uh, uh, situations, uh, we see that uh, uh, there are very good uh, results. Uh, uh, so uh, this is a, a point to mention that uh, uh, for data uh, uh, obtained uh, when uh, uh, experiment uh, considered the electrical fault versus mechanical fault, we, we saw that uh, uh, it's more easier and uh, better results are obtained. And so this means that uh, electrical faults is more easier to uh, to be identified 
uh, than the mechanical uh, situation. Uh, also, uh, uh, another experiment uh, was considered uh, such that to have uh, uh, the normal operation and uh, any faults. So uh, these were considered uh, a scenario when electrical fault was present, uh, mechanical was present, or uh, any fault also means that uh, uh, simultaneously we have also mechanical and electrical fault at the same time. Uh, so in this experiment, uh, uh, for instance, uh, for mechanical, uh, only for mechanical, uh, we uh, considered uh, 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 one per four uh, uh, part of the data. And uh, the results uh, are also uh, uh, good in this uh, situation. Uh, now, uh, what's next? Uh, so basically, uh, we uh, want to implement uh, another also new configurations, so uh, uh, to have more sensors, uh, also uh, uh, to test uh, uh, with uh, more closed uh, RPMs and uh, 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 to small down the, uh, uh, the effect of our induced faults. Uh, so, uh, not to have such uh, evident uh, distinction and to see if uh, the classifier are working or not working uh, well. Uh, and also uh, uh, we want to improve uh, uh, beta acquisition uh, because uh, now uh, as uh, we use uh, limited uh, sampling frequency, uh, we, we are uh, not uh, dealing with all, or let's say, uh, all uh, information about uh, uh, signal that we have in, pro in the process. So uh, let's say uh, we want to go uh, up then uh, two kilohertz of, of, of uh, let's say uh, uh, harmonic that we, we can uh, uh, detect. Uh, so uh, uh, what uh, will uh, going after uh, this uh, new setup will be done. Also, uh, uh, improvement on the algorithm are, uh, uh, are to, be, uh, to, to be performed. Uh, and finally, uh, will be, let's say, uh, integration uh, with uh, agent cloud technology. So uh, these data now are, uh, are, everything it's locally, so data acquisition and so on are stored locally, but uh, we want to uh, uh, get this data and deploy uh, because we want to uh, all this data to get to the uh, with the agent system. So here uh, are the next step to do be developed in the project. Uh, I hope that I am just in time. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry if I just uh, go over. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, for your attention. Thanks, Adrian. Very good. Very nice. A little yeah, bit yeah. over time, but I think it was very interesting. And <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry for. <laughs> no, no worries. I think it was good, and then I think it's good because what you presented actually you had some ideas of doing very similar, and firemen at some point. So, and I think this is interesting. And then maybe you can find a, a collaboration there because uh, you have been doing, let's say, in one work that you done. Firemen was. Uh, well, what's called fault selection in, in the power lines. And the, well, we basically did a very similar approach of selecting the fault and so, but I think you can uh, return this in at some point, you can discuss in some emails, you can give you our paper and then you can check how you could collaborate because it's different, I, I guess, different uh, learning methods to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, so, basically our idea was exactly on this direction. So. Our uh, idea, uh, this is why we want to, uh, pro, uh, to obtain some open data such that to be able to share uh, with other uh, uh, projects. For instance, also uh, with you, because uh, you know, also our collaboration started and I think uh, uh, on this side, uh, uh, we can uh, find some uh, common points. Yep, I think of course. So, but in any case, I think let's, uh, 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 uh... Close here, people are already living, and for us, like uh, there are many people in Finland now. It's approaching our weekend time, <laughs> and it's sunny in Finland, so it's not usual. So people want to go outside with t-shirts. <laughs> so, uh, 
uh, I'd like to uh, thank everybody from this very nice uh, second year workshop from Fireman and one of the final uh, workshops or seminar from EAOT. Uh, our idea was a very, a very, uh, let's say, uh, you executed well what to have planned the fairly to have like a starting from a more theoretical approach and approaching the end to go to very practical scenarios. And I hope that you succeeded to have a very insightful and interesting presentations that can come up new collaborations. Some people already make side talks with me that they are like to put in touch with each other. And I think this is uh, the goal that you, you had here. And so thank you very much. Thank you Hirley, for helping and, and organizing this with me and all the others from Fireman soon and all the other people that joined us here. So thank you very much and have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much. And have a nice weekend and hope to see you again in the October uh, when you organize the, the second uh, edition of uh, Fireman and Soon uh, meeting. Yes. Yes, of course. So may maybe earlier. So let's see. Yeah. But, <laughs> let's see. Thanks. Bye bye. OK, thank you. Bye bye. Enjoy the weekend. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.